what we like to do is uh, warm up, which is just sort of uh, just get all the uh, you know get all the ideas out. Just you know because uh, we're all coming from uh, very busy uh, busy days. Uh, we all have lives. I watched uh, a lot of soccer. Was busy. We, all, we watch soccer apparently, just soccer I did. all day. But I don't watch that. either way, we just uh, we we just sort of clear our minds and we use different world. things to the, you know. <laughs> We also do a lot of hugging, <laughs> lots of hugs to get the, uh, the, the, the mind clear. What would you guys like to do as a warm-up? Right now, unbeknownst uh, to all of you right now, we are filming a uh, Penguin Night Fight documentary. Uh -huh. For a class assignment, I had to go to SAC Comedy Lab. Um, and afterwards, after our show, I actually had met friends with some of the improvisers. Um, about a month or two later, um, an old improv troupe and I were supposed to open up for a, another improv troupe called UCB, Upright Citizens Brigade, that would travel into UCF. Crystal's group uh, in, uh, at UCF, it just disintegrated. Um, so she needed a lot of people to just get in and fill the spot up because you know you've got to open for the Upright Citizens Brigade. She came to SAC Comedy Lab and met a bunch of us after a Tuesday night Lab Rat show and mentioned that to us and said, well, well I'm supposed to have this performance for uh, opening for UCB, but I don't really have any improvisers. And we were like, well, uh, we're improvisers. When that showtime came up, you know, when it was like literally like 20 minutes before we were about to, you know, open up for Upright Citizens Brigade, we met them. They were really cool. They're like, you know, thank you so much. You know, it means a lot. You know, you guys have like a name for your group? <laughs> we literally really went, no, we don't. We met, we met a day ago. So we were all there waiting to go on, and we realized we didn't have a name. And so we started throwing out like just like, all right, pick three letters. For WPD, and you're like, um, Wombat Patrol Department. We're like, that's that, nope, that's a stupid, stupid, stupid. Tony Rechtenwald, one of our original improvisers, came up with the name Penguin Knife Fight. Penguin Knife Fight. Penguin Knife Fight! Yeah, we just made up that name five minutes ago, and we're here to make you laugh. And that's how we got our name. <laughs> <laughs> this Natura spot from when Improv United was together, but we were very inconsistent and like we weren't always able to get people to come and it felt like it wasn't really put together very well. So we had already had this spot and Crystal was like, hey, let's keep this going. We'll start this Penguin Knife Fight thing. We'll start it and keep doing it here at that, that same time slot. And it kind of blew up from that. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. What? <laughs> I'll do that thing you like. <laughs> the one thing that I only do once a year. Pray. <laughs> so we decided. <laughs> so we decided Jesus wasn't a part of our relationship. Uh, hello. Have you seen my corner, my Jesus corner? <laughs> Christ here, Christ here, Christ everywhere. <laughs> why I watch True Blood. <laughs> Impro uh, uh, improvisation has a philosophy, which is, it's hard to do, it's hard to put in practice, but it's a staple is that anyone can improvise. And life is improvising. It, the conversations are improvising. It's just, it's such an eclectic uh, word that it's just making things up. That's what you do when you're talking to people, you make things up. A lot of the techniques in improv is living in the now and just saying yes and. If you can do those simple fundamental things, I mean, you're pretty much doing it on a regular basis. There's things like, uh, you know, never say no and stuff like that. What that means is just like, don't deny the reality that is happening in front of you. You know, don't negate what's already been set in the scene or set in life. Don't negate what you're already kind of working to. And, you know, we're trying to build characters out of thin air. And, you know, a lot
lot of times they're funny, but sometimes there's always a very real component. You want to make them laugh, but you also want things to look real. You want it to be real. You want it to have an emotional reaction. And I think, I think that's what we try to convey. Every single one of us, if we needed to, could hold our own for a time. But it is that the awesomeness of improv versus stand-up is that you have all these beautiful safety nets around you. And not a lot of people think safety net is a bad word, like a bad term or like a weak term. But that's not it at all. It's that, wow, I can feel free to, to do whatever. I'm the base jumper of comedy. Fuck it. I can jump and I'll get caught. I'm not going to die, except some base jumpers die and we don't. I was just informed by my manager that I'm not really allowed to take the cheese sticks back. So okay, thank you. Go. That's all rude. Yeah, all right, yeah. thank you. Go. What uh, do you think about that? Oh, uh, great. <laughs> Freeze, Tim. Continue with Christopher Walken. <laughs> well, you know, uh, that movie he was in. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to stop you right there. If you guys want to order anything else on the menu, that's fine. Unless you want your settle with the cheese sticks. Um, we're good. Perfect, we're all right. right. Great. We're great. <laughs> Brilliant. Horny. All right, see yeah. you later. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, you all right there? You okay? I've got, a, I've, got a, I've got a feeling in my loins. <laughs> Sound like I was closer to Rick Christopher Walken. <laughs> I'm never improvising with another improviser. I'm always improvising with friends. It's good chemistry that creates good improv or good work. I think it's super important uh, for us to continue that kind of like creative push and support in the community that we have because it's something that brings people together as a community by doing this kind of art and everything. From a performer perspective, and I know this personally, having creative juices and everything, if you don't get them out every now and then and stuff, it's tough. Like you, the creative types, you need to get you need an outlet to get it out of your system because it makes you feel good. For some people, it's almost therapeutic. In my case, with with comedy, I love to laugh, but I love making other people laugh. So that's a huge thing for me. You got to collaborate, and you have to understand that other people are going through their own creative juices and blocks, and they need your support, and you need theirs, and it's without without each other, we have nothing. This is life. This is what life's all about is to connect with other people and then share who you are with them through whatever medium you are comfortable with. It's really important to have a community like that, to understand that this is the way I want to live my life. I want to live it to the fullest, and I want to live it doing something I love doing. Creativity is, in my opinion, what makes the world go round. It's what everything is based on. It's how just life happens, how we solve problems we need. You know, performances and arts and, and other things to, to bring all that to the forefront and to show that. I'm, I'm glad that we built something a part of the community because I think I think collective collaboration is key to anything for a city to work or thrive in because I, I when I moved to, or when I lived in Chicago for even a month um, I just saw what improv could do when it has the time and the talent and the collaboration. It'd be nice to do, maybe pack up, get a weird van and just go around the country and do shows at colleges. Get paid, not get paid, who cares? You know, everyone's just having fun, but I'd love to see it continue and I think it definitely has the potential to do so. I really hope that uh, we stay as a really cool group, a cohesive unit, because I really like working with these guys. That's why I do it. I really do it for the fun of it. You know, it's super fun. I wouldn't do it if, it if it wasn't fun, and that's why I'm here, because I love having fun with those guys. They're some of my best friends, and it's just really cool. We all gel when we're on stage, you know? It's, it's a lot of fun. I think that's what, I think that's what makes PKF stand out a little bit, um, is that um, you're, you're, we're inviting you to come watch us be friends with each other, and we friend each other pretty hard. <laughs>
hate them. <laughs> Next question. Yeah, yeah. There's there's Cody and Danny and Scoober. Um, Eric. He's Eric. <laughs> you don't want to know who Scoober is. He got kicked out a long time ago. Yeah. Francisco in a bikini. Yeah. <laughs> Jess is uh, fairly new. Oh man, Stevie's probably the hairiest out of all of us. <laughs> oh, Stevie. Stevie. Yeah, Poor Stevie. See, see, see yeah, Stevie. Stevie's like the Eeyore of the group. Like <laughs> nobody talks about me. Danny, Danny's kind of hairy. And Tim just joined, I think, yesterday. Uh, the other members of Penguin Knife Fight. Uh, first of all, amateurs is what I'd call them compared to me and my brilliance that I bring to this stage. <laughs> so Francisco is probably one of the worst performers we have here. Um, he's just so uh, needy. And, and boring, and nobody likes him. Yeah, the previous ones are all good. They're they're good people. They're good to play around with. Do you want me to name them? 